Hello, explorers of the unknown and cultural enthusiasts. Today, we're venturing into the heart of Southeast Asia to uncover the 23 most astonishing facts and taboos about Laos. Let's embark on a journey to learn what makes Laos truly unique. The Mysterious Plain of Jars Nestled in the rolling hills of Xiang Kuang province lies a mystery that has puzzled archaeologists for decades. The Plain of Jars Imagine thousands of giant stone jars, some as tall as 10 feet, scattered across the landscape, with no clear understanding of who put them there or why. Local legends tell tales of giants who once roamed the land, using these jars to brew rice wine for their lavish feasts. Meanwhile, scientists speculate they might have been used for ancient funerary practices. And if you don't want to be part of the funeral rites, take advantage of our health insurance at the link attached comment. You will receive a discount from Ecta Traveling for your first registration. This way you will support us. Thank you. Lao traditional medicine and aphrodisiacs dive into the essence of Lao culture, where the verdant landscapes hold secrets to vitality and passion. Have you ever imagined nature as your healer, especially in matters of the heart and soul? In Laos, traditional medicine isn't just about curing ailments. It's an elixir for enhancing fertility and sexual health, rooted deeply in the everyday life and beliefs of its people. Picture this, a blend of exotic herbs and age-old natural remedies, each with a story, each with a purpose. But what makes this so explosive? It's the seamless integration of these practices into the fabric of daily life, offering a natural, holistic path to wellness and intimacy. Lao Language and Poetry Traditional Lao poetry, an art form cherished and preserved across generations, transcends mere storytelling. It's a cultural cornerstone, echoing through time in ceremonies and rituals, and holding the community together with its lyrical threads. This poetry captures the essence of Lao life, from the sacred to the everyday, embodying the nation's soul through verses on love, courtship, and the collective memory of the people. In Laos, poetry is more than literature. It's a way of life, preserving the oral histories and cultural narratives that define the nation's identity. Through rhythmic recitations, poets breathe life into ancient tales and contemporary reflections alike, ensuring that the voices of the past continue to guide and inspire the future. In this way, Lao language and poetry offer a unique lens through which to view the heart and spirit of Laos, revealing a deep connection to tradition, nature, and the human experience. Patuxai Victory Monument At the heart of Vientiane, the Patuxai Victory Monument isn't just an architectural marvel. It's a beacon of Laos's enduring spirit of independence and resilience. This towering structure, with its intricate designs and symbolic significance, celebrates the country's liberation while emphasizing the core values of unity and collective strength. These principles, so vital to the monument's foundation, mirror the essence of Lao society where community and family life are paramount. Walking through the gates of Patuxai, one can't help but feel a connection to the past struggles and victories that have shaped the nation. It stands as a testament to the idea that together, we are stronger and can overcome even the greatest challenges. A message that resonates well beyond its physical presence in Laos. Coffee as a major export. In the lush highlands of Laos, coffee is more than just a crop. It's a symbol of the country's fertile lands and its integration into the global market. Laos's journey with coffee, from traditional cultivation methods to becoming a significant exporter, showcases a remarkable blend of local practices with global commerce. This thriving industry not only represents the country's economic growth, but also reflects deep cultural themes of fertility and prosperity. As coffee beans from Laos make their way across the world, they carry with them stories of the Laotian people's connection to their land and their ability to nurture and grow. This narrative of coffee symbolizes the broader resilience and adaptability of Lao culture, highlighting how traditional values and modern achievements can coexist and flourish together. Luang Prabang's Alms Giving Ceremony Every dawn in Luang Prabang brings a profound spectacle of spirituality and community, the alms giving ceremony. This revered tradition sees rows of saffron-clad monks silently walking through the streets, while locals and visitors alike kneel in respect, offering food. This daily ritual is more than an act of charity. 
It's a vital thread in the fabric of Lao society, weaving together the lives of the lay community with the spiritual journey of the monks. It epitomizes the Buddhist cycle of giving and receiving, a practice that nourishes not just the body, but the soul, fostering a deep sense of social cohesion and spiritual fulfillment. Through this exchange, a connection is formed that transcends the physical, anchoring the community in shared values and mutual respect. Respectful dress in temples and ceremonies. In Laos, the way one dresses for temples and ceremonies is a reflection of deep-seated values of respect, humility, and reverence for the sacred. This isn't just about following a dress code. It's a practice that speaks to the heart of Laotian culture, where modesty is not only a personal virtue but a communal expectation. Whether it's covering shoulders and knees before stepping into a temple, or choosing traditional attire for a ceremony, these acts of modest dressing are gestures of respect towards the spiritual and the solemn. They underscore a collective understanding that certain spaces and moments demand a higher level of reverence and decorum. Through this practice, Lotians embody a profound appreciation for their heritage and spirituality, reinforcing the societal bonds that tie them to each other and to their ancestors. Avoiding pointing with feet. In Laos, the act of pointing with one's feet is more than just a social faux pas. It's a taboo that carries deep cultural implications. This practice highlights the Laotian emphasis on respect and the thoughtful navigation of social spaces, principles that permeate even the minutiae of body language. By consciously avoiding pointing with their feet, Laotians adhere to a tradition that values dignity and politeness, reflecting an acute awareness of how actions can be perceived by others. This custom is not only about etiquette, it's a reflection of a broader societal ethos that values harmony and respect in all forms of interaction, from the public sphere to the intimacy of personal relationships. It's a simple yet profound way of showing consideration, reinforcing the importance of respect in maintaining social cohesion and mutual understanding. Fa that Luang, Fa that Luang, with its radiant gold-covered stupa, stands as a majestic symbol of Buddhist faith and Lao sovereignty, embodying the spiritual bedrock upon which the nation is built. This iconic monument is not just an architectural marvel, it's a testament to the enduring spirit and cultural identity of Laos. It signifies the profound connection between the nation's religious beliefs and its societal values, reflecting how spirituality and governance intertwine to guide the Lao people. The stupa's gleaming presence in the heart of Vientiane serves as a constant reminder of the country's devotion to Buddhism and its impact on everyday life, from the respect for all living beings to the emphasis on peace and harmony. Fa that Luang thus stands as a beacon of national pride, symbolizing the unity and resilience of Laos through centuries of history and change. Lao Sin Dat Lao Sin Dat, or Lao Hot Pot, is more than a meal. It's a culinary tradition that brings people together, embodying the communal spirit at the heart of Lao culture. Gathered around a simmering pot, families and friends share not just food, but also stories, laughter, and life's joys and challenges. This practice of communal eating transcends the act of nourishment, reflecting the deep-seated value Laos places on community and shared experiences. In a society where relationships and social bonds are paramount, Lao Sin Dat symbolizes the warmth and inclusivity that characterize Lao social interactions. It's a testament to how meals can serve as a medium for reinforcing social ties, with every shared dish reinforcing the collective fabric of Lao society. Through this simple yet profound practice, the essence of Lao culture, its emphasis on togetherness and communal well-being, comes vividly to life. Traditional Medicine In the heart of Laos, traditional medicine offers a window into a holistic approach to well-being that has flourished for centuries. Here, herbal remedies and spiritual healing practices are not merely alternative options, but foundational elements of healthcare. This reliance on nature's bounty and the wisdom of ancestors showcases a profound respect for balance and harmony within the body and the surrounding world. Such practices, deeply interwoven with daily life, emphasize the importance of maintaining equilibrium, not just physically but emotionally and spiritually as well. This holistic perspective extends to all aspects of health, including sexual health, highlighting a comprehensive understanding of well-being. By embracing the natural world's healing powers, Laochin traditional medicine teaches us the value of looking beyond the physical, advocating for a lifestyle in harmony with nature's rhythms and the human body's innate wisdom.
silent footsteps in sacred places. In Laos, the gentle hush of silent footsteps through sacred spaces is more than a practice. It's a profound expression of reverence and mindfulness. This tradition of moving quietly within temples and holy sites reflects a deep-seated respect for serenity and the sanctity of contemplative environments. It's a gesture that acknowledges the temple as a place of peace, where the external noise of daily life gives way to inner stillness and spiritual connection. This value of quietude extends beyond temple grounds, permeating the fabric of Lao society, where mindfulness and respect for others' peace are integral to the way of life. By embracing silence in these sacred spaces, both locals and visitors participate in a timeless tradition that honors the depth of Lao's spiritual and cultural heritage, fostering a shared atmosphere of reflection and reverence. Spirit Houses In Laos, the quaint and often intricate spirit houses placed outside homes are far more than decorative elements. They are a vivid testament to the Lao people's deeply held belief in the symbiotic relationship between the spiritual and physical worlds. These miniature sanctuaries serve as a bridge to the unseen, offering respect and homage to protective spirits believed to influence health, happiness, and prosperity. Erecting a spirit house is a practice rooted in ancient traditions, reflecting an enduring reverence for the guardianship these spirits are thought to provide. By acknowledging and honoring these invisible forces, the Laotians embody a profound connection to their environment and heritage, encapsulating a worldview where every element of life is intertwined with the spiritual realm. This practice underscores the cultural emphasis on balance, harmony, and the nurturing of positive relationships with the forces that shape their world. Laos's Landlocked Geography Laos's unique position as a landlocked country nestled in the heart of Southeast Asia has profoundly shaped its identity. From its mouth-watering cuisine, to its rich cultural traditions and economic practices, this geographical feature has fostered a remarkable resilience and self-sufficiency among its people characteristics that resonate deeply within the Laotian approach to community and interpersonal relationships. Without direct access to the sea, Laos has turned inwards, harnessing the bounty of its fertile lands and mighty rivers to nourish its population and culture. This has led to a cuisine that is both diverse and distinct, emphasizing fresh, local ingredients and bold flavors. Similarly, the country's economic strategies and cultural practices have evolved to reflect this self-reliance, promoting a strong sense of unity and cooperation. This landlocked nature has not isolated Laos, but instead enriched its community bonds, highlighting the strength and adaptability of its people in facing geographical challenges. Footwear Etiquette In Laos, the simple act of removing one's shoes before entering a home or temple is a practice steeped in meaning, embodying values of cleanliness and respect that are central to Laotian culture. This gesture goes beyond mere etiquette. It signifies a deep reverence for the sanctity of personal and spiritual spaces. By leaving shoes at the door, visitors symbolically leave the dust and turmoil of the outside world behind, entering into a realm of purity and tranquility. This tradition extends to all areas of life, influencing how spaces related to intimacy, family, and worship are approached and maintained. It's a practice that fosters a mindful connection between the individual and their environment, reinforcing the importance of respect and consideration in both public and private spheres. In this way, the act of removing footwear becomes a unifying cultural norm, reflecting broader themes of harmony and communal respect in Laos. The Laotian Rock Rat Discovery In a twist that sounds like it's straight out of a naturalist tale, the Laotian Rock Rat a creature once believed to have vanished from the face of the earth, was rediscovered in the vibrant markets of Laos. This remarkable find not only stunned the scientific community, but also cast a spotlight on the extraordinary biodiversity concealed within Laos's borders. Previously thought to be extinct for millions of years, the survival of this small nocturnal rodent speaks volumes about the unexplored natural wonders and ecological mysteries nestled in the country's dense forests and rugged landscapes. Its rediscovery underscores the resilience of life and the importance of conservation efforts, reminding us of how much remains to be discovered in the remote corners of our planet. For Laos, the rock rat is more than just an animal. It's a symbol of the country's rich natural heritage and a testament to the mysteries it still holds. The Significance of Elephants in Lao Culture 
In the heart of Laos, the elephant transcends its status as a mere animal to become a revered symbol of strength, wisdom, and fertility. These majestic creatures have been integral to Lao culture for centuries, not only shaping the nation's history, but also playing pivotal roles in ceremonial and spiritual contexts. Elephants in Laos are venerated as gentle giants, embodying the qualities of patience and intelligence, and are often associated with rain and fertility, critical for the agriculture-dependent communities. Their presence in processions and festivals is a sight to behold a tradition that honors their significant contribution to society and the deep connection between humans and nature. This reverence highlights the elephant's symbolic importance, echoing their role in tales of royalty, religion, and folklore, and underscoring their enduring impact on the cultural and spiritual landscape of Laos, avoiding public displays of affection. In Laos, the cultural tapestry is woven with threads of modesty and reserve, particularly when it comes to expressions of affection. Public displays of affection are rare, as they contrast with the societal emphasis on maintaining decorum and privacy in romantic relationships. This restraint isn't just about following social norms, it reflects a deeper value system that prioritizes respect for oneself and others in the public sphere. In Laotian culture, emotions and personal connections are cherished and protected, often considered too sacred for the public eye. This approach to relationships highlights a communal respect for the private nature of personal bonds. Through this practice, Laochins showcase a profound respect for the collective space, ensuring that the public domain remains a place of communal harmony and respect, free from personal intrusions. This cultural nuance underlines the importance of understanding and adapting to local customs and values, especially for visitors, as a sign of respect and appreciation for Laotian ways of life. Pai Mai Lao Pai Mai Lao, the Lao New Year, is a vibrant festival that engulfs the country in joyous celebrations, marked notably by spirited water fights. This tradition is much more than mere play. It symbolizes cleansing, renewal, and the washing away of the old to welcome the new with purity and open arms. During this time, the streets of Laos transform into lively arenas of communal joy, where water becomes a medium of connection and shared happiness. Interestingly, these water fights also serve as a playful backdrop for young singles in various communities to express interest and flirtation. Amidst the laughter and splashing, there's an undercurrent of social interaction, a charming dance of courtship that harmonizes with the festival's themes of renewal and new beginnings. P. Mai Lao encapsulates the essence of community, joy, and the hopeful anticipation of what the new year brings making it a deeply cherished time in Lao culture. The Legend of Siho and Naga In the heart of Lao folklore, the legend of Siho and Naga weaves a mesmerizing tale of mythical creatures that embody the nation's cherished values of balance and harmony. Siho, with its lion's courage and elephant's wisdom, and Naga, the serpent guardian of water and life, together illustrate the harmonious coexistence of strength, intelligence, and protection. This storied narrative extends beyond mere mythology, serving as a profound metaphor for the equilibrium so vital to Lao spiritual beliefs. These creatures' symbiotic relationship highlights the importance of balancing various life aspects, a principle deeply ingrained in the Lao way of life. From personal relationships to community interactions, the legend underscores the necessity of harmony and mutual respect. Through the adventures of Siho and Naga, Laos imparts timeless wisdom on the significance of balance illustrating how these ancient myths continue to shape and reflect the ethos of Lao society. Sticky Rice Symbolism In the heart of Lao culture, sticky rice transcends its role as a staple food to become a potent symbol of fertility and prosperity, especially in the context of weddings. This humble grain, sticky and cohesive, is emblematic of the binding together of lives, signifying the unity and enduring bond between couples. At Lao weddings, the presentation and sharing of sticky rice are imbued with wishes for a future filled with abundance, health, and happiness. The use of sticky rice in these ceremonies showcases its significance far beyond mere sustenance. It reflects the deep-rooted agricultural traditions of Laos, where rice is not just a crop but a lifeline and a source of spiritual and physical nourishment. Through this symbolism, sticky rice becomes a vessel of cultural values, carrying the essence of communal well-being, 
harmony, and the continuance of family lineage underscoring its revered place in Lao society and rituals. Bachi Ceremony The Bachi Ceremony holds a cherished spot in the heart of Lao traditions, acting as a powerful ritual to foster harmony and balance. This ceremony, deeply woven into the cultural fabric of Laos, is performed during pivotal life events, notably including weddings, where it serves to unite and bless couples as they embark on their new journey together. Through the ritualistic tying of white cotton strings around the wrists of the participants, the bachi ceremony symbolizes the securing of good spirits and fortune while warding off negative energies. It's a poignant expression of the community's wishes for health, happiness, and prosperity for the couple, illustrating the communal support that underpins Lao society. Engaging in this ceremony is a profound experience, reflecting the spiritual depth and the interconnectedness valued in every facet of Lao life. The Ritual of Takbat Central to Lao spiritual life is the Ritual of Takbat, or Morning Alms Giving, a serene and sacred tradition that underscores the deep bond between the Buddhist monastic community and lay people. Before dawn breaks, monks clad in saffron robes silently lean the streets, while lay people, in an act of merit making and humility, offer food, typically sticky rice, and other essentials. This daily ceremony is a poignant reminder of the values of generosity, respect, and community interdependence. It's not just an exchange of food for blessings. It represents a cyclical giving and receiving that nourishes both body and spirit, reinforcing social ties and spiritual commitment. The Takbat is a beautiful expression of Lao culture's emphasis on spiritual mindfulness and communal support, reflecting a society where spiritual and worldly lives are intimately intertwined. Put the word Takbat in the comments. That way, everyone will know that you did well and watch the video to the end. As our journey through Laos comes to a close, we've only just scratched the surface of this country's profound depth of culture, history, and enigmatic beauty. So what do you think? Is Laos on your list of must-visit places now?